video, I'm going to show you how to render in After Effects and Sony Vegas. Why? Because some people might ask later to do Sony Vegas. So I'll do that right now. Um, if you're new, subscribe. And if you're already subscribed, thank you. And uh, we can get started in this tutorial. So first thing is first, after you drag your file in, okay? So say you drag your file in or you import it, all right? Um, you don't know what to do next or you're just composing your video. Don't even do that yet. The first thing you want to do is drag. I usually like to drag the longest or like um, file down first. So like the video is longer. You can check that up here. So if you click on your song or beat, it says one minute pretty much up here. Where is it? Like three minutes. Okay. Now I just drag the video. All right. And it's going to give me the full length. And why you want to do that is when you're actually making your video, you don't want to have to come back and change it later. So you just want the full duration so you can like change and chop. So now you drag your beat down. Okay. And obviously you probably have effects and stuff here, but I'm just saying, you know, you want the most workspace. So say you're done editing, what you would do is drag this hold shift. All right. Click it down and click this button here. I don't know if you can see it. This is what it looks like right here. Hopefully I edit something, my animation on this or something. Click and hold and hold shift, all right? So like this, all right? Make sure it's on the blue one. And it'll lock, all right? So that's one way you can do it, okay? But the safest way to do it, all right? Once you finish editing, next thing you wanna do, okay? Click on your song, it says one minute. So this is the very next step after you've edited and all this stuff, all right? You see this one minute and one second, right? You go to new composition, not new composition, but you go to composition settings. Um, if you did this from the beginning, you go to new composition, but we're gonna, we already have one. So we're gonna go to composition settings, all right? And this is custom to the video because we dragged the video in first, but you can still change it, all right? I just choose this one down here, okay? That's the one that I choose. Uh, it renders pretty fast depending on your computer, but um, let's see, we just try test. I guess we could have kept it as Post Malone. Now you come down here, you've already seen it probably. You change it to your song duration. And this is how you render the full, full thing. Um, Cause sometimes it won't work. Sometimes it'll render something that you don't want and you don't want to have wasted two hours of rendering time or an hour, right? And you'd be surprised sometimes it takes that long click there all right and now you know you know for sure that it's going to render all of this all right but make sure this is still highlighted okay now the very next thing you do after this all right you go to file let me see exports where is it you could do the media encoder it does work a lot faster but if you don't have that um go to add to render queue all right so this should already be set, best settings. Let me drag this over, right? That you can copy these, you can pause the video and copy them. So that should be set, all right? Now, this is the important part, all right? Listen up, this is the very, the most important part. Click on lossless, right? And this is, if you're a producer or, you know, whatever, you're just making YouTube videos, this is what you wanna do, all right? So this should all be set. If it's not set to this, make sure this is, set to what I have. All right. Now for format, you don't want AVI. Okay. If you want a four gigabyte file, then go ahead. But you click here. All right. It should go to, you should have quick time. If you don't have quick time, you'll have to look up another video because I'm not really sure what to do after, you know, past that situation. So go to quick time. Now you can stop it here. Now the two formats in this, why does it keep going over here? The two formats, all right? Now let me do that again, just so you know. Quick time on format, and then this button over here, format options, all right? Now there are two that I use. Um, you could do the MP4, that works perfectly fine. I think it renders faster in MP4, um, but I'm not sure. But you can do H.264, all right? I'm not sure about these, but you can see it has pretty much anything that you want. But MP4 and this one are good to go. Um, I would do this one. People say this one is like the best, but I don't really, you know, I'm just looking for render time. So 
um i think mp4 would be better but you know i'll just stick with this just because it's has good rep all right so after this um i guess you can like mess with the audio but i would not touch that at all so after you find out whether you want mp4 or maybe you're doing an animation or something you click ok after that you just click on your output it's just going to take you to your video your video files or folder or whatever and you just type in what you want and i'm sure you know how to save if you're able to download after effects i'm sure you know how to save files and after that you're good to go and that's how you do render in um, after effects so now in sony vegas this is going to be really quick and easy now say you have every okay so you have everything you know um composed and you have everything that you want your logo and your little effects animations here and you're ready to render first thing you want to do and make sure every single time and sometimes you can there's nothing you can do the sony vegas will still mess it up but just so that you're completely right click here okay up here in this little like empty bar and you want to make sure this is highlighted all right your whole entire render now this is actually easier to do in after effects but sometimes you know i make a video and i'm 100 sure i did this you know and when the, the video renders and i'm about to upload it and i just rewatch the video make sure it's okay like half the video is only rendered or like the the beginning is chopped off or something and i'm like what's going on so make sure this is you know highlighted now after that you go to file render as okay and then here you can change your you can change your destination here and then you can uh change the name of it i'm just name it test now these are my favorites this is for social media um it does i don't i'm not sure what the guidelines are for social media really because sometimes it doesn't work i think 1080p is too much but i doubt it because it's it's 2017 we should be able to upload any type of file to any you know so any twitter instagram anything but the one that i use is this one it's on the windows media video a wmv file this is what i use um it's pretty fast it renders really fast um as long as you don't have like a bunch of files open and then you just click render um you can take the favorites off and you can just do a lot of you know there's a lot of other stuff you can use um so for different formats and stuff but um that's up to you i just use this one stuff in here all right and I i'm gonna make this larger so you can see or i guess you can't make it larger never mind um but yeah that's pretty much it and here's the windows file if you have a Mac, I'm sure, 100% sure, um, there should be, yeah, the QuickTime. I know Mac is and QuickTime is like tied together, so that this this shouldn't be a problem to convert over the Mac. So yeah, so um, again, I hope this tutorial helped you out. I know it's a simple tutorial, but I know a lot of beginners do not know how to do stuff like this. So um, yeah, comment down below, let me know what you think, and I'll see you guys next video. Peace.